halfway finished. Oh my word. The reason why I wanted to do that solo is because I want to get better. And having a partner just makes it a little bit easier. What a victory! You've won the tournament! Oh my goodness. Just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to Isn't the victor the, the goes Russian school? the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. And that is? Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. I right, wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <laughs> what do I get? Give me my loot. Oh, that does not look cool. Yeah, I don't know how we apply traits. Mm -hmm. Okay, I kind of like that underneath whatever we're wearing currently. This one, however, no scarf. This, go back to uh, my wear ones, gloves. I kind of like the rugged ones. Yeah, it kind of matches a little bit. Cool. Okay. Next, you want to try and do a potion class. Is potion class available, or is it just herbology? Right, level four. So we're actually quite a few levels ahead of what we're meant to be. Ooh, oh, we get Expelliarmus from that one. House Incendio, nice. Done that one. Need to do some combat rolls. Um. Oh, spell combination. Sure, we might as well do that while we're here. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent Deep. idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Sure. What's the combination? Be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Right. So, Accio. Yeah. So just immediately into the new ones, okay? Accio. Let me use it. Wrong one. I hit two instead of three. I'm dumb. Accio. Incendium. Let me use it. How's that good combo? Four. Like, what did that didn't seem to do anything special? Akio! Incendio! That one, yeah, you bring them in and then you set fire to them. That makes sense. Akio! Incendio! Let me open. Did that too quickly? Uh, yeah. Next time, perhaps. Incendium. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, let's 
spells will have time to recharge. Incendio. Oh my god, that's a hell of a combo. Well I was Impressive too quick the first time around. I'd hate to face you in your duel. Alright, Thanks, cheers, mate. Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Cheers, mate. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, unlock the challenge menu. Oh, I actually have to claim them. Oh, lol. Mm -hmm. These just appearance, right? Yeah. Oh no, that's too superhero-y for me, thank you very much. Ah, uh, see, I like the purple, I just don't like that orange sort of thing. That's a little bit more like my real ones. Yeah, no hats. That's pretty much decided. Uh, did we have any ones? Nope, okay. You know, let's mark them all as red. Okay with that. Uh, quests. Sure, let's go Herbology. So in the greenhouse street. Yes, it is. Greenhouse. Mm -mm -mm. I'd be better at herbology than Neville Longbottom. How nice to see you, my young friend. Thanks. Quickly make a drink while this happens. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make oh, our fibrous beds a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
Sorry, one second. I'm making a quick copy. It takes like two sets. Okay, let's do this. Oh. God, they're ugly. You hear that cry of an adult one. Uh, they can actually kill you. Well, baby ones will just knock you out. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting dirty the magic blanket. right at ease. Right. Repair. That is a handy spell. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. All right, cheers. Splendid work, everyone! Was that it? That was rather short. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. If you can all get started, I need to have a brief word with our new student. Oh, why am I being singled out? Mm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yoink. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get well. a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to uh, fresh soil. What's the professor called? Mm, now, as I mentioned, next Harry we'll Potter. be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. A sprout? I already have some, Think? Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Oh, cheers. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. All right. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mm -mm. This needs restorative properties. Make it a seeds. Ten seeds. Ten minutes. Potion. Okay, yield five. As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, the reason why I want to get the potions, I want to make some healing stuff. Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different Chinese sort of flora, chomping cabbage. The Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Okay. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other <laughs> okay, greenhouse. That's just it's weird. just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. I mean, their name is Chomping. Like, it's kind of... Yeah, anyway. All right, mate, let's go. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chop. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Thank you. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. I'm just oh. a better gamer, what can I say? Oh, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. 
Uh, okay. How do I toss said cabbage? Oh, hold tab. Oh. Look at that. Weird. That's like anything they can get their I got through a grenade. On. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but Wish they left her big old daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yep. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm. I like do they come they in handy just quickly throw them down. The greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. Even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmead and such. Bro. You can't be well, above throwing a cruciferous nice vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. All right. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. See more I can join from here? I don't think so. I've about everything. Mm -hmm. Anything in these plants is up here? No. Rather empty. <laughs> that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. So he's handy. Good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Giggity. Giggity. Um. Sure. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, so and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right, then. I do wonder about putting make anything grow. We must first understand it. Another five minutes. For plants as well as friendships. Kindness and... All right, what's up next for us? Potions class, yes. Where's that near? With the library annex. Okay. Oh, no, I think we've been there by accident, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know, no, we don't want to stay down. There's a Is this store down here. No, not that one either. I've never had difficulty with that. Might be over here and to the left. Yes. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely Hello. incompetent, which he is. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion It'll might my come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. 
Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Wonder if there's going to be a timer on the, the, on the brewing for that. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. So much, not really what I would call a massive quick time event. Seven stairs counterclockwise, one stair clockwise. Mm -mm. I'm from to judge my stuff. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Okay. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Thanks, yeah, mate. Seems to be like a reasonable fellow. Rebellion. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his Garrett office? Garrett Weasley. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Am I, though? I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure right. to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Any red hair freckles, Listen, gotta be a Weasley. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. And that would and be... I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather. A what? As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a good I idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Uh-huh. I'll do it. Very well. I'll bring you a fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. This is gonna backfire horribly. Dark mongrel fur. Hmm, <laughs> memorandum. From Aura Office, subject Organ and Burks. Oh, that's the... yeah, in the shady shop. Hmm. Some eggs. Fupa feather. Oh my god. That is a weird looking creature. Rebellion. Ocean stations organized and free of clutter. Going to have one gold. Woo. Here's the fupa feather yeah, you wanted. Cool. Brilliant. Don't snitch. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Is my station? Oh, this one. Proficiency in potions are two things that mm. cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. So there's a brewing time. 
Only yields one bottle though. That's annoying. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Uh oh. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Hawk lump juice. Sorry, okay. Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Don't you snitch. Hi. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Damn Mr. It. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. I mean, he already knew As no for the work you did today in your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a yes, solid sir. grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Right, yeah, mate. Now, is any of that I think juice each stuff of us anywhere? Has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. <laughs> oh, my robes are going to reap from Gary's inspiration for the rest of term. Just get them washed. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, travel is always a good thing. You're lucky enough to get to do it. Uh, quickly pop down here and get the plants because we're growing some different me. Might have to jump into Hogsmeade to buy some um, of that juice stuff. Mm -mm -mm. You are a wizard, Harry. I'm all. How you doing, Greg? It's been a minute, mate. How's things? Mm -mm. Right. 